came through for third for Cleveland, 48-03. We've got another event coming up that should be being contested, the Intermediate Boys 800 meters final. Uh, Spencer Thomas, James McCarthy, Billy White, Christian von Eitzen, uh, Daniel Roden, Joseph O'Hara, Jethro McGraw, and Jamal Lewis. Uh, those the top eight representing their counties. And uh, it should be a very good race, actually. Von Eitzen uh, with a 153.88 uh, to his credit going very well and also O'Hara with 153.89. So they're the two sub-154 men in this race. But as we've seen already, it doesn't always go with a form book here. It really doesn't. In lane four, that's Von Eisen. And uh, a young man who, well, on the evidence of today, may well find himself uh, running a bit quicker than he's run before. We shall see, there he is, just inside uh, Daniel Roden. Nervous look on his face. So this is uh, Spencer Thomas, uh, the Sussex School champion, 155.8 uh, is personal best. It's his first track season, incidentally. He spent a lot of time on the country, I'm told. Lane two is uh, McCarthy, and he represents uh, Buckinghamshire. Children of British Club, Children 10, 154.33 in the heat here, so he's another one who might prevail, you never know. And this is uh, Billy White. Uh, Billy White represents uh, Sussex, the second of the Sussex competitors here in the Phoenix Athletics Club. Both of them are actually from the Phoenix Club. Von Eitzen, Oxfordshire, 153.88, as I said, the Oxfordshire Schools champion, was fifth in the English schools last year in the intermediate in 156.35. So, a good deal better this year. This is uh, Daniel Roden of Essex, 154.23. He said his personal best in the heat here. How often is that uh, being said today already? And uh, O'Hara, Joseph O'Hara of uh, Kent, uh, drawn in lane six, the Kent School's champion, 153.89 in his heat. So there's an awful lot of talent emerging here. And this is Jethro McCaw of Derbyshire. He's drawn in the seventh lane, 156.73, also in the heat. So. The opportunities have been given and the opportunities have been taken by these youngsters to create their best 156.2, winning the Bedford, Beds and Luton Schools Championships, but a little bit quicker in the heat here. So there you go. So the Intermediate Boys 800 metres, the English Schools record, Michael Rimmer, also still running at international level, around at 144, is 150.93, set back in 2002. So, we'll see who wants to take this on. These are tactical races in every sense, they really are. And uh, we shall see the two uh, Sussex athletes in there to take it on. And uh, Von Eitzen has uh, decided he wants to take this uh, on as we go down the back straight, approaching the first 200 metres. And now, of course, uh, Daniel Roden of Essex looks, and it's being slowed down a little bit at the front, as one uh, might expect. It's one of those occasions when this is about tactics, there's no doubt about that. And uh, is that Jamal Lewis leading? We'll just check him out in a moment. In fact, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, Billy White of uh, Sussex, I think. Let's just check his, uh, his number. He's uh, in lane eight, actually. That is Jamal Lewis. I was right the first time. So Jamal Lewis is leading. Uh, in second place is uh, Daniel Rodden. And we've gone through in 56.72 at uh, 400 metres. So that's uh, pretty good. Well one or two people treading on another's heels there the conditions are superb this afternoon the temperatures are high so often we've come to these jammer chips and it's been wet and it's been blustery there can be no excuses from the athletes the conditions are superb as they go down the back straight they'll start to feel the wind at their back and that shows you how close this is they're running five wide down the back straight well, certainly now we've got uh, Van Eitzen now pushing away with 200 meters to go he's laid down the gauntlet that's for sure Van Eitzen's leading at the moment and uh, in second place, we've got uh, from uh, Kent is uh, Joseph O'Hara. And O'Hara in second place. In third place is uh, Daniel Roden as they come into the home straight. And I don't think this is going to change much. I really don't. This is going to be a very, very good win for the form book, really. Van Eitzen of Oxfordshire comes through to take this. And in second place, looks as though Roden just gets there ahead of Joseph O'Hara of Kent. And the winning time, 153.39. So uh, 
that's once again a very good competitive race and uh, you have to say that uh, Van, Von Eitzen ran that very very well indeed tactically very very sound and he came away with the gold medal that uh, really promised it's just outside his personal best unless that is rounded down remember his best at 153.88 that was unofficially 153.89 18, or was that 39? I think it is a personal best. It is a personal best. I read that very incorrectly, so it is a personal best for him. And uh, you can see that uh, Jamal Lewis, who went out early in the race, under some pressure here. Well, he was in the best possible was it possible position wasn't he right on the curb there he got first run on the field he kicked here and the surprising thing that there was no immediate response from any of his rivals he's come here he's won the title he's run a lifetime best it is uh, a case of job done and uh, well it's an improvement on two years ago he finished third in the junior race two years ago and he's now the champion in his senior year in the intermediate boys so a terrific victory there for Christian von Eitzen who is now speaking to Mark Richards. Well, Christian, before that race, you could see you were really primed and up for it. Fantastic performance. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was, it was a long day yesterday. I was, I was really nervous because I've been coming, people coming up to me the last two days. So I'm the favourite, so it's really got my nerves going. <laughs> so I, I was obviously worried to get the final, but I was done there now, so I'm happy. Yeah, fantastic. And you've emerged with a lifetime best as well. How does that make you feel? I don't know what it is, actually. Um, but yeah, it was really good, especially because we can confirm it's 53.37. Oh, right, yeah, it's not bad, half second. That's good because Joseph O'Hara, he ran a um, 153.89 yesterday, hundredth, hundredth of a second slower than me yesterday, so in the semi, so I'm happy with that. And who's here to celebrate the, uh, the, 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 the victory with you today? All my team, of course. Uh, my friend James is somewhere up there. I'm not sure. My mum can't make it, fortunately, because it's my brother's proclamation. Well done. Um, and, yeah. Well, I'm sure your mum would have been watching you on TV. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, he did, he did look nervous on the line, but my goodness me, he proved to be the champion that uh, we, he promised. Christian von Eitzen, then of Oxford, 153.37, personal best for him. Raden of Essex, also a personal best. And uh, uh, Joseph O'Hara in Kent, also a personal best, 153.82. Very good race in the end, but uh, in over the last 200 metres, dominated by, by von Eitzen. Well, up next...